Okay, I'm going to read the third book of the Haley Harper series, Secret Rock Aftershock, and this is chapter 15, Stuck in the Middle. The sun shone directly overhead, piercing the bright, clear Texas sky. Haley took a deep breath, inspected the rope securing her to the top, and found the next foothold. She set her jaw, convincing herself that today gravity was not going to win, not on her birthday. Why does she have the need to be on the top anyways? Maybe she got it from her dad, who always wanted to climb to the top of every building, tower, or structure when they went on family vacations. She thought about her dad for only a minute before remembering how mad she was at him. She knew she just had to keep climbing. She hugged the grainy rock and focused on the next hold. She had rock climbed before indoors, but never a real rock outside. This was definitely more challenging, but she remembered what her Grammy always said, remember how to eat an elephant, one bite at a time. Grammy had a way with words, but Haley knew she would get to the top, focusing on one foothold at a time. The higher she climbed, the more rock layers she passed. The rock must be sandstone, probably formed from an ancient beach of sand and silt deposited in layers over millions of years, reminding her of a layered birthday cake. Go, Haley, go, Graceland cheered from below. Haley smiled, but didn't look down at her best friend. Thanks, Graceland, Haley called out and enjoyed a breeze that blew across the rock. She could always trust Graceland. When they played the trust game as little kids, Graceland would close her eyes and Haley would hold her hands, guiding her around the edge of the neighborhood pool. The last time they played, Graceland missed her step and they ended up falling into the pool together. A cicada made a long, low droning noise like a warning for how hot the day was going to be. Haley suddenly noticed a strange part of the rock face that looked different from the layer after layer she had been seeing. What could have caused a rock a million years old to form differently than the rest of the rock around it? It'd be worth it to take a closer look. Her hands were sweaty, gripping the rock, but she dismissed any doubts about changing her climbing plans. You can do it, Haley, Graceland shouted from below. There's a crack just beyond your reach that you can hold on to. Graceland must have thought about Haley's change in ascent, meaning she was having trouble, but she started to feel re-energized by the idea of exploring a new section of the rock. She had a feeling that it was different and special. What if some prehistoric creature was trapped in the rock for millions of years? Ava would love this if Haley found a dinosaur. Haley, what are you doing? Graceland called out. I just want to check something out, Haley called back. Okay, are you sure? Don't get yourself in a spot you can't get out of, Graceland warned. Haley pulled herself sideways and found a rock she could rest on for a moment. Then she spotted an impression that was a little bigger than her hand. Was she just imagining it? Or was she really seeing a skeleton stamped into the sandy layer of the rock? Graceland, you'll never believe this, Haley called. I think there's a fossil up here. Her fingers stretched out to touch it, but it was just beyond her grasp. She'd have to move over a little more to inspect it. She was regretting not bringing a crayon and paper and do a rubbing of the skeleton. Would anyone believe her if she, had, had, if she said she saw a real fossil? She adjusted her stance and reached as far out as she could to touch the fossil, but her center of gravity was off. Her fingertips were almost there, but she had to find a better foothold or she'd fall. She looked back toward the top, and it seemed further away now that she made this detour. An eagle swirled in the sky. Perhaps it wasn't an eagle. It was a vulture making a long, lazy circle directly overhead. She heard the cicadas droning again, and the heat of the day made her head light. Her leg muscles started to twitch. She looked down and instantly regretted it. Graceland seemed farther away, and the rocks below looked sharp. Falling could really hurt. Perhaps today, gravity was going to win. Why had she let the fossil distract her from her focus on the top? Little stars popped across her vision and she felt like she was going into a dark tunnel and she tried to regain focus of the fossil. She wanted to memorize what it looked like. Haley's heart started pounding so hard she could hear it in her ears. Thump, thump, thump. She looked down at Grayson and then everything went black.